Hey, what's going on guys? Adam6039. So as you know, it's getting close to July 4th. You know, going to be having a lot of fireworks out, going to be having good times. So if you're too cheap or you're balling out a budget right now like I am, and you want to have a bottle rocket or something to shoot up in the sky, you know, but you don't want to go out and waste your money on bottle rockets. So you might have seen videos like this on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to make your own bottle rocket um, that you can customize however you want with just a soda can you can use really any size I found this size works the best a razor blade which I have here just be careful screwdriver and you want the screwdriver to be about the size of one firecracker in diameter or you know circumference whatever and I just have a pack of bunker bombs with me but I've got a ton from last year in my garage so we're gonna first start out you're gonna wanna take your soda can and you're going to want to just take this, be super careful, make sure you have a nice sharp blade on here because we're actually going to be cutting this in half. Just make it, push it in, you know, get it in. And you're going to want to go ahead and cut all around. Sometimes it takes a few minutes depending on your blade and your can. This last part's always the hardest because you have to, it's so flimsy. And there we go. So this part you really don't need. You can toss it aside. Done with this for now. So now you're going to have this. But you, you want it to be kind of level. So you can always go around like this. Touch up the edges if you want. If you want, you can go ahead and take some duct tape and seal around here to give it, you know, first of all, protection. So you don't, um, you know, get cut by the can while you're holding it. Also, for suction... So it doesn't just let all kinds of air out because that's how it's going to propel into the sky. So I just take it like this and go around. Take that, fold it in. I just take any old duct tape will do. There are some sharp edges on this can, so you really want to be careful. So just keep going around the can like that. Get all these edges nice and sealed with tape if you want. This is optional, but I found it helps better. Now, all you have to do take your screwdriver I use a Phillips head find the exact middle if you can and just push get your hole going I sometimes have figured it takes a hammer so I grabbed a hammer you're gonna just hit it about twice got mine through there just go ahead and push it in there. Then test it with the firecracker. So as you see, that's too small. Firecracker won't fit. Just take it, kind of, kind of keep going around. Stretch it out a little bit. All right. Now you got this. That fits my firecracker perfectly. And you don't want too much of a gap around that hole because it will let the combustion out. I'll go ahead and show you. There's what I have. All right, now you're set. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take these things outside and see what we can do. All right, guys, so I went ahead and came out here and got, uh, I didn't level out the edges, so I'm not sure exactly how well this will work. So you're just gonna, you can do this on the concrete or in a bucket of water. So got here, can on the ground, and you want to do it on a flat surface so the combustion gets contained in there. This hole I've made might be a little too loose, but it should work fine. Now, this thing, you might not be able to see how high it goes. I've had it go about anywhere between 20 and 70 feet. So we measured that about last year when we did this. So here we go. I'm going to light it and run. Dang! Oh my goodness! As you guys hopefully saw there, I'll try to replay it. Dang! It just went so high. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, so I'm going to take it a little bit further. I'm going to go out here in the road. I'm going to try it one more time see if we can get anything else. So as you guys saw there, that went really high. 
I don't know if it stayed in the frame of the camera, but it went way up and uh, then some people came out, so I had to turn the video off. But yeah, as you guys saw there, that actually was pretty successful. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is an easy how to make your own bottle rocket for 4th of July. Uh, like if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out some of my others and peace out.